This is a demonstration on how to change the batteries in a Dynatel 573 series. Um, the first thing you do is you remove these four screws on the accessory tray. Now once you've taken the accessory tray out, there is a uh, metal bracket here that holds another tray down. Just remove that. And here's the tray. Now inside here are six, not six, but four uh, lantern batteries, six volt lantern batteries. Is two in series here and two in series here making 12 volts and they put the 12 volts in parallel uh, this gives you quite a bit of runtime uh, each one of these cells is about uh, oh a thousand amp hours a thousand amp hours yeah right uh, 10 amp hours so it gives you quite a bit of runtime the problem with these is that these have screw-on terminals. Now I can't find these anywhere. Uh, I've looked in all, all kinds of parts catalogs and I can't seem to find these. The ones you buy in the hardware store have the spring clip on them for uh, you know uh, flashlights and, uh, and these are very expensive. These cost in the range of eight to ten dollars a piece. So it can be very expensive. So what I do is I replace them with one of these. This is a 12 volt AGM battery. It's a sealed lead acid battery. Um, doesn't have the, quite the runtime as the Lantern batteries, but um, this is a 12 volt battery. This will give you. 26 hours of runtime on your Dynatels. Um, the most these Dynatels draw is maybe 50 milliamps, and this is a 1.3 amp hour battery. It translates into 26 hours of runtime, which is not bad. And they're very cheap, they're $10 a piece. You can buy them at uh, Mouser or DigiKey. And uh, when your 26 hours are up on these, you take a wall wart, these little wall transformers, at 12 volts, and this one here is a 200 milliamp uh, 12 volt power supply, and you can use this to recharge your batteries. Simply plug it in, and uh, you put some easy, some uh, fast ons on it, and you plug it in for a couple hours. You get yourself a fresh battery for 10 bucks. Usually people have a ton of these wall warts around. Uh, this one's 12 volts. 12 volts is pretty common. You don't want to go much above 200 milliamps. 500 milliamps may be okay. But you don't want to uh, charge these things too fast. <clears throat> so when you get your battery all charged, make sure you put your plus and minus on correctly. And these fit right into the right into the slot of one of the lanterns, lantern uh, cells. You see, it fits right in there. And when you're done, put your cover back on. Your metal clip and your accessory tray. Screw it down, you're set to go.